Hi, and welcome to this week's look at what's making headlines in natural health on iHealthTube.com. Well, it seems a daily aspirin has become as common as the apple a day saying. Both were supposed to keep you healthy and keep the doctor away, but a recent study shows that at least one of those may not be true. The study, done in Australia, consisted of nearly 20,000 people in Australia and the U.S. with an average age of 74. Half received daily 100 milligrams of aspirin. That's slightly higher than the typical low dose of 81 milligrams. The other half received a placebo. After five years, there was no difference between the two when it came to disability-free survival. However, there was a higher rate of internal bleeding in the aspirin group. The results indicate that taking a daily aspirin has no effect on cardiovascular health, but did have a significantly higher risk of bleeding, primarily in the gastrointestinal tract and in the brain. Well, could the products you use to clean around the house have an effect on your child's weight? According to a recent study, there is a connection. The study, done in Canada, looked at 750 infants at age 3 to 4 months, looking at their weights again at ages 1 and 3 years, and their exposure to disinfectants, detergents, and eco-friendly products used in the home. Gut flora was altered in the 3 to 4 month olds most frequently with households that use disinfectants like multi-surface cleaners. When these infants were 3 years old, their body mass index was higher than those not exposed to heavy use of disinfectants as infants. Babies living in households that used eco-friendly cleaners also had different microbiota, but they were less likely to be overweight later. However, the use of eco-friendly products may also be linked to overall healthier lifestyles in those households, like eating healthier. The addiction of pain pills continues to be a big problem, but researchers are closer to finding a safer alternative to pain relief from, of all things, a sugar pill. The study out of Illinois shows scientists can predict when patients with chronic pain will respond to a sugar placebo based on the patient's brain anatomy and psychological characteristics, even if you tell the patient what they're receiving. The senior author explained there is a biology behind the placebo effect. The chronic pain patients that benefited from the sugar pills had similar brain anatomy and psychological traits. They were also emotionally self-aware and mindful of their environment. The potential benefits could, of course, be a reduction in drugs that are often addicting and have other serious long-term effects. That's what's making headlines in natural health this week. Make sure to go to iHealthTube.com and sign up for our free email newsletter so you stay connected to the latest in natural health.